first asana today is dandasana it strengthens all the major core muscles improves posture and increases stamina it creates body awareness and helps improve alignment of the body it also provides a good stretch for the hamstring roll out a mat and sit on it extend your legs straight out in front of your body with your thighs as flat on the floor as possible if it is difficult to keep your spine straight try sitting with your back against a wall for better posture to make this posture more comfortable you can also fold a blanket under yourself rest your arms alongside the body with palms on the floor warm up your leg muscles by pressing the heels onto the floor but avoiding locking your knees inhale slowly throughout the entire process and keep your chin at a slightly lowered position you can hold this position for 60 to 90 seconds let's hold it for 10 seconds now keep breathing and release our second asana is janu shirshasana it strengthens the back muscle during pregnancy calms the brain and helps fight depression it relieves anxiety fatigue and headache it also improves digestion sit on the mat with the right leg folded in and the left leg extended pull back the toes of your left foot with your left hand while holding the left wrist or forearm with your right hand look up and feel a good stretch this allows maintaining the hand foot energy flow in the forward bends while providing support for the lower back You can also hold the sides of your calf muscles. Hold the pose for 3 to 5 breaths. Inhale and slowly come back to starting position. Let's repeat on the opposite side. inhale and hold keep breathing while you hold the pose inhale and relax these poses can be repeated many times a day upavishta konasana it opens the hips and stretches the back and thighs Sit on your mat and separate your legs as much as feels comfortable. Place a bolster or a stack of blankets or pillows in between your legs. This will support your torso and belly as you come forward. Inhale deeply and on your exhale slowly walk your hands out in front of you, bringing your torso down as far as it wants to go supported by the bolster. Avoid placing any strain on your neck and let your head rest on the prop. Relax. You can stay in this pose for up to 1 minute or whatever is comfortable for you, many times a day holding up to 5 minutes. Right now, let's hold it for 10 counts. Keep breathing normally. Our next exercise is Parshava Sukhasana. It is helpful in increasing the flexibility of the spine and upper back. It stretches the shoulders and upper chest while massaging the abdominals thereby aiding digestion. Sit on your mat in a comfortable position. Turn your upper body to the right. Keep the right palm on the floor behind your right hip with fingers pointing forward. Position your left palm on your right knee. Your sitting bones should remain in contact with the floor throughout the pose. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. Bring your back to neutral position if you experience any pain. Let's do this for 10 seconds.
keep breathing repeat on the opposite side hold for 10 seconds and release our last asana for the day is supta baddha konasana this posture is a hip and chest opener and relaxes the back It relieves pressure on the back of the body from the extra weight of the growing baby and breast. It improves circulation in the legs and hips. It is an excellent pose for all three trimesters with slight modifications after 20 weeks. After 20 weeks it is recommended not to lie flat on your back for a long time due to increased uterine weight. This can sometimes cause breathlessness or dizziness. Increase the elevation of your back and head after 20 weeks. by placing several pillows or bolsters under your back so that you are on an incline roll up a blanket a few towels or pillows for back support and keep it on the mat sit in front of the pillows bend your knees in front of you with the palms of your feet facing each other you can place a pillow of same height under the knees on either side if you need extra support Slowly come down to lie on the blanket supporting the middle of the back and spine arms to the side palms facing up Relax in this position for as long as you're comfortable Keep breathing natural and easy Make sure you're comfortable and feel free to adjust the height of the towel or the pillow Before we release I would like to say well done Hope you feel good after this workout If you are keen, you can repeat the sequence up to thrice a day, ensuring that you keep at least an hour's gap between workout and meals. Stay happy, stay energized. Breathe. Once you're ready, slowly turn to the right or the left side for a brief moment. Use your hand support to sit up slowly. Sit for a few moments to feel the effect of the pose. Slowly open your eyes. Remember, healthy mother, healthy baby. Namaste.